Hello and welcome to another guide in Terraria. This one might be a bit short because it's kind of a continuation of the jungle guide. But today I'll just show you how to make the jungle items, the craftable jungle items. The first one we've got is the blade of grass and you might have to full screen it to read the bottom part. But this is kind of in the same class as the fiery greatsword and the Mirumasa. So there you can see it has slow attack speed, so that's probably in the middle of them both for attack speed. To make the sword you're going to need the silver broadsword which is easy to make with the silver bars, 20 stingers which you get from killing hornets, they drop pr pretty often, it's not hard to do. And the same for the 40 jungle roses, you can find them everywhere lying around in the jungle. As well as crafting this item, you can also find it. It's a very rare drop from the man eaters, which are the vines with heads on the end. Or you can find them in a chest, I think. But yeah, that's the blade of grass. Next is the thorn chakram. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but this is a variation of the boomerang. It comes back to you, but the special thing is it bounces off uh, surfaces, so it, it can hit multiple things at a time. And it's... And it's very fast, so you could use this in boss battles. I know that I used it against Cthulhu to test it out, and it worked pretty well. This one's an easier one to make. It's only 30 stingers and 40 jungle roses, so most of the time you pick these materials up without even noticing it. That's how often you pick them up. So that one isn't that hard to do. The Ivy Whip is probably one of my favourite items in the game so far. It's it's a variation of the grappling hook, but you can shoot three vines at once so that you're suspended in the air, you're not against the wall. And I believe it shoots faster and further than the original grappling hook, so it's really useful. Now to make it, you are going to have to give up your old grappling hook, or you can make a new one. And you'll need three vines, which are a rare drop from the man eaters, which can be pretty hard to kill because they do 45 damage. That's the only material which could be a pain to get because, like I said before, the jungle roses are really easy to get. You just need to make sure you take a lot of potions while you're killing the man eaters. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll just show you a few clips of me getting some of the materials to show you where they are, I suppose. And then I'll show you a few clips of me crafting them and then using them so that you know what they look like and what they do. So to get the jungle roses, what you do is you look around for these red roses on the floor and hit them. And more often than not, it'll drop. Here it doesn't, but it usually does. They are really easy to get. For the hornet stings, all you want to do is kill the hornets, obviously. They swarm around you a lot, they find you. So it isn't hard to find any of them or whatever. Here you can see that the uh, man eater or whatever it is, it did 45 damage and if you get stuck with one of them, it can kill you really quickly, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, I think it was there that I actually dropped a vine, but I'm not sure. No, it wasn't there. But while in the short time I was recording getting the materials, I did actually get a vine, so you can be lucky and get them quickly, but other times, not so lucky. Alright, so again, here is the satisfying part in crafting them. And I, I actually think that for such good items, this is a pretty easy thing to do, so there shouldn't be anything stopping you apart from finding the jungle. Here you can see them in my inventory, and I, I actually think that they are some of the coolest looking items in the game as well. So, along with the molten items there, I'm thinking these look pretty cool. And here you can see the the uh, ivy whip, and how it suspends you in the air. So that's pretty cool. And there's the blade of grass, which is a pretty good sword. And definitely looks pretty cool as well. And there's the thorn chakram, and you can see that it bounces off things, which is really helpful. And it can actually go quite far, and it, it returns to you in really quick. So that is a pretty good ranged weapon. Alright, so thanks for watching again, guys. If you enjoyed it or have any suggestions, leave a comment, rate the video, whatever you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And subscribe if you want to see more in the future more guides so thanks again and I'll see you later